people have recently started to lose their friggin' minds after realizing that this Instagram model actually tattooed her cat. Initially, when this first went viral back in 2017, people thought that it had to be fake, and now the woman is still defending her choice to tat this cat. I'm gonna get into all of the details in a moment, but first, if you could please smash that like button, we would really appreciate your support. And with that out of the way, let's just dive right into today's story. Instagram users everywhere are now filling up this woman's comment sections to express their utter disgust and outrage. Elena drew outrage after posting a photo of her sphinx cat named Yasha. Yasha just so happens to have the Egyptian god Anubis tattooed on his chest. And I'm sure all the other cats at the bar won't mess with him now. According to the model, she put this poor cat under anesthetic so that the tattoo artist could get to work on his chest piece. One question. How bored are you? No, for real, uh, how rich and how bored do you have to be to even think of doing this? I mean, I gotta say, this feels like an original idea, but that doesn't mean that it's a good one. And as expected, many people on Instagram felt the same way, accusing her of animal cruelty, for which I say, yes, 100%. One follower of hers even wrote, would be better to ink her forehead with a tattoo saying idiot and break her finger for torturing a defenseless animal, poor kitty. However, even after the numerous messages and comments accusing her of animal cruelty, she still insisted that she did nothing wrong. Back in 2017, when she first addressed this situation, the model hit back and said that her cat Yasha had a better life than most of the people that were getting outraged, which I think is besides the point, but okay. She also claimed that her cat wasn't harmed in any way, and in a statement she said, The cat's life is better than yours. Maybe it is hell for you, but he feels just fine. He has not been castrated, and he never will be. This would be real cruelty. I checked with the vet before getting him a tattoo and they were fine with it and a vet was present while they were doing the tattoo so everything was under control the cat is treated with love and care she insisted that the cat has a happy life and that this tattoo was made on the upper layer of the skin however again i ask who is this for it's certainly not for the cat the cat doesn't check out his tattoo in the morning and think to himself damn i am one fine feline it just it just doesn't okay so why are we trying to turn this cat into an extra from sons of anarchy you know, Reportedly, the animal behaved normally after having this unusual procedure, but I just can't believe that a vet even signed off on this. Now, apparently the local authorities have said in the past that they would open up an investigation to see if there was any evidence of animal cruelty. And a spokesperson for the police even said to the press, If we establish that the animal was torture, we will open a criminal case. However, that was back in 2017, and this woman is still the proud owner of this tatted up cat. The cat even has its own Instagram page, so if the police actually looked into this, then they must not have been able to find any sufficient evidence to take her in for questioning. It's not exactly clear as to why this woman and her cat have seemingly gone viral again, but hopefully the redirecting of the spotlight has been for a good reason. One person even tagged PETA in one of her newer posts, pleading with them to do something. However, I'm not sure how far that's going to take things either. E even with this coming back up now, the arguments being made against the model are the same. Another person echoed the anger and frustration in that first comment that I read you, except this person said, I don't understand how you can do something like that to your cat when you don't even have tattoos. Did you think that this would give you more followers on the spot? You're a hypocrite and you deserve to have your cat taken away from you. And I wholeheartedly agree with this statement. If she did this for the clout, which is what it seems like, that is absolutely abhorrent behavior that needs to be punished. And I think as consequence, she should have to get the same tattoo tatted across her forehead. I don't know about you guys, but that's just what I think. Now, of course, there are going to be people that are like, I think it looks cool. And, and sure, maybe if it was temporary or Photoshop, but she perma-inked her cat, okay? I, I just don't know what else to say with that. With that though, let's check out some of your comments from the video titled, Kanye West caught on camera screaming at Chance the Rapper. Shelly Tyso says, glad to know he has friends around him during a difficult time. Yeah, it's good to see that he had people, I mean, Dave Chappelle obviously came out as well, there was tons of videos from that too, so it's good to see that he has some people supporting, now he just needs to accept the help. King Puppet says, I wonder if him and Jeffree Star have fights like this. No, the shade. <laughs> they never met. I don't, I don't think. He said, hopefully, I don't know. Med Ego Manissi says, legit was searching this right now and you upload it. Hey, welcome to Inform Overload. We're right there when you need us and just make sure you tap that little bell so that you always get to know whenever we post new videos because most of the time it's things you're already looking for. G Ben says, I'm enjoying these video settings. Yes, I tried to class it up a little bit by adding the bookshelf and laptop I don't really use, so. I'm glad you're enjoying my background. <laughs> MG says, Kanye isn't mentally stable, but this is really weird and I'm surprised no one said to him, you need to back off and stop yelling at the kid. Yeah, people forget how young Chance the Rapper is. I'm like, why is this old man yelling at this poor kid? Like, imagine your hero. I mean, Chance is from Chicago. Kanye's from Chicago. That's his hero, technically yelling at him. 
Very weird. Indigo Baby says, how can you yell at somebody who wrote true kind of love for Steven Universe? I didn't know that. Damn, big facts. How can you do that? Hey Kanye, how can you do that? Annabeth Chase Edit says, when you're so early, there aren't even any Johnny Sims yet. Stop. It's no such thing. You're lying. Lies. Fiction. But that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. I've been your host, Johnny Rogers, and until next time, stay classy, YouTube.